Hi guys, just wanted to talk to you about another one of my prints. Uh, this is the uh, rocket lamp and as you hopefully can see it's, uh, it vaguely resembles uh, the shape of a rocket. So uh, two parts, the shade and then the base. Uh, as you can see in the base we have got the tool moon T-bulb. This is the Dash S I think um, and the difference between the Dash S and the Dash B would be that there's one of them's got the straight inline connector and the other one's got a right angle so that just is just a jack plug that uh, plugs in the bottom quite quite easily. The other end of that cable um, is a USB socket so that there's a little thread on the uh, on the bottom of that so that just screws into there. Um, the cable also has a nice inline switch so you can turn on and off the, I designed the base just to uh, as a projection of the bottom face of the shade and as you can see underneath there's, there's a recess and there's a slot for the cable to go in so it sits nice and flat. So when uh, this goes on the top there we can flip the switch and we get light. If I just turn this other light off here uh, you can maybe see it a little bit better so that's, that's kind of the the idea of it and switch back again so the the base is printed in the filamentum vertigo galaxy and if I hold it just under that light you may be able to see the the goldy fleck of that and then the shade was printed in filamentum CPE HG100 and this is the natural um, colour and printed really well. Um, it's, it's nice and strong. A um, little bit of flex in it. It's it's kind of I guess it's closest to uh, PET G in its in its capabilities, although probably a little bit better than that. I, but it prints nice and easy. It's um, I think it's Simplify 3D. It's very very close to my PLA profile, just with the temps and the fan uh, changed. Uh, you do need a heated bed, so it's not quite as easy as, uh, as, as PLA can be but still pretty good. So that is my rocket lamp. Okay thanks a lot guys.